What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode series and welcome back guys. We are in season 2 now of the Portsmouth Career Mode series. Finally we are in the second season here and we will have a little look at our offers. We got a few emails here but I just want to thank you guys first of all for the support that you gave me on the season finale of last episode. We managed to smash well over 50 likes and if we can do the same on this video that would be greatly appreciated. For the start of season two, we will be in the Empower League one. This is our budget for the season, so not too bad actually. I believe when I was with Bristol Rovers, it was a lot less when we were at this point. So I have to say, one million and one hundred thousand and a five grand wage budget, not too bad. I'm sure I can do something with that. And we've also got some pre-contracts coming in in a day's time, so that'd be interesting to have a look at them. And uh, the league objective is to. Uh, the league objective is to gain automatic promotion Well, uh, they're going a little bit optimistic there, but I'm sure we can do it. I'm sure we can do it indeed uh, So super season. Yep uh, We already know about that and uh, the domestic cup performance Well to be honest, we really did bad last season So I don't know why they're congratulating the players because we did absolutely terrible We didn't even have a cup run pretty much maybe in the FA Cup They mean right guys. It's the 1st of July That means that the transfer window is open But it also means that the tables have updated and we are now officially in the Football League one If you do want to see the table then of course you can have a little look at the teams that we're coming up against here And it looks like Millwall and Sheffield and one other team that I'm not too sure I think it's Peterborough were the teams that did end up getting relegated last season So it'd be interesting to see how they do this season but so uh, yeah that is the league table but more importantly we want to go into our office because of course we've got some pre-contract arrivals we're going to be wanting to have a little look at them look at all of these one two three four five six seven seven pre-contract arrivals that is absolutely ridiculous we will just archive these messages for now because they are not important and we will have a little look at the players that we've managed to sign on pre-contract deals first one there is Yun Youngson and oh my god he looks ridiculous look at those physicals 84 pace 92 strength 88 jumping 83 stamina Really, really good interceptions and, well, really, really good defensive stats overall. I'm very happy with that signing. And he can also play right back as well, which I probably will end up playing him in that position. But uh, that is a good signing for us. We've got Ben and Williams up to 61 overall, which is good. He's a nice young player. And Hong Chu. Hong Chu is 71 overall. And look at these stats. Oh, my goodness. He looks like such a well-rounded left back and he's already starting to grow already. Look at that free kick accuracy, 78. That's unbelievable for a left back. He, he can play left back, right back, left wing and left mid. I probably will end up playing him as a right back. And that is another Korean signing we did make. Simon Romagno sorry, Simon Romagnoli completely messed up my words there. Um, he is 71 overall. He's got some really good stats again, and wow, he's actually a bit of a beast of a centre-back. He's got some really good uh, skill attributes there with his marking, stand tackle and slide tackle, and he's got perfect work rates. Really, really good signing once again, and he costs us absolutely nothing on a free. That is what I'm talking about. We've got Danny Ward, which we also signed a striker to provide a little bit of backup and a bit of depth in that position. We've got Keiko here. Who is 70 overall. He was 68 when I did sign him. But he looks like he's a, a fairly decent player. Nothing more special than that. But uh, unfortunately his work rates are pretty terrible. Tarsa here. Who is 70 overall as well. And he looks really, really good too. A really, really good player with four star skill moves. Can play down the middle or on the flanks as well. Which is really, really nice. And we've got Funzo Ojo. This was the guy that I wanted to sign out of everyone and I did manage to sign him on a pre-contract deal. He looks like a really well-rounded central midfielder. We'll end up playing him as a CDM. He will be replacing Polyak in that CDM position. Five-star weak foot, long shot taker. That is exactly what I want. And uh, those are all of the pre-contract signings and the squad report for this month. So a lot of people said they wanted me to re-sign Zivkovic on loan. One problem with that is he is a very good striker. I'd love to get him back, but look at this. 
He's just signed a new contract with Ajax and he's on 10 grand a week, which is a real shame. I will keep him on my shortlist though, nonetheless, just in case there is an opportunity where we may actually be able to sign him. But moving on to the players that I do want to sign for this season in this summer transfer window, we start things off with a right back actually, and I want to go ahead and try and sign this guy. Felipe Campos I think he'd be a fantastic right back for us and I'm really thinking of offering Garia as a swap deal although he's a really good player we've also got uh, Yun Young Sun and we've also got Hong Chul who could potentially play it right back even though that's not their preferred position I really really want to sign this guy I have done since the beginning of the series so I will offer 200,000 plus Garia in fact I'll offer 100,000 plus Garia and hope that they do end up accepting that We've also got two CDMs that I'm going to go in for. Alex Gilby, I tried to sign last season and I failed to do so. And we've also got Dele Ali, I think his name is. And he would also be a nice little CDM to have in the club. A very young player and he's got a lot of potential. He's been uh, tracked by a lot of Premier League clubs actually, which is also quite interesting. And his value is not that much either. They are. This guy is in the same league as us, so we've got a little bit of a good chance of signing him on the cheap, but we'll have to wait and see. We will actually offer Danny Holland and in a swap deal because that is his base value. Danny Holland is worth 250000 which is the base value of Dele Ali. I'd rather go in for this guy, Ryan Ledson, who is the young Everton player. He was 59 overall at the start of, uh, of the start of the previous season, and he's been boosted all the way up to 66. So this guy obviously has a lot of potential, and I really do want to try and sign him if I can at whatever cost is possible. So I will go ahead and offer James Dunn as part of the deal, and we'll wait and see what Everton do say about that. So I've also decided to put a few players up for sale guys. You can see I have transfer listed a couple of the players that were in the reserves last season which I did send out on loan. We got this guy who is 51 overall. We got this guy who's 53 overall. Really I think there's no place for them in the team. I've also transfer listed Webster. That doesn't mean I'm going to sell him. I just want to see if I can get a decent amount for him. And I've also added these two players to the loan list. Watmer and also our scout future star, Bakar. Because I'm worried that he won't get into the first team. But more importantly, I do want him to get a bit of potential going out on loan. Right, let's see if we can get any emails here. Any emails back? I really do hope we get some good news. But I'm not really feeling too optimistic at the moment. I bet they're just all a transfer offer unacceptable. And what do you know they are? But we've got a transfer offer here for Ryan Taylor. Now, this is where things could get a little bit interesting. I said I'd let this guy go if I got the right amount of money. And that is a good amount of money, isn't it? I mean, 825000 from the Italian club Chievo Verona. I will counter offer $1.2 I think. I don't want to let him go for any less than that. I think he's a really good player. And if they want to take him away from me, they're going to have to offer the big bucks. It's as simple as that because I did say before, I really do not want to let him leave the club unless I get a decent amount of money so that I can basically buy a replacement. That's uh, my logic behind it. But Ryan Ledson, he really is a player that I do desperately want to sign. So what I will do is I will cancel out Dunn. Because it doesn't look like uh, they want any of um, James Dunn as part of that deal. So I will offer... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go balls deep. I'm going to go 550000 If they do accept that, that will be brilliant. But I really do doubt it. Because he's a young player. And he's uh, part of Everton's future, I guess. And oh my god. Oh my god. They've actually accepted the $1.2 million for Ryan Taylor. That is double what he's worth, and he's already reached his full potential. Oh my goodness. I think it is also worth requesting from some funds from the board, because really we don't have that much money to play with. It looks like Ryan Taylor is out of the club, which I am very, very disappointed about, because he was one of our top scorers last season. But we will get a capable replacement, and I will uh, say that we'll reach the round of 16 and gain automatic promotion. Because I'm sure we will. We'll wait and see if they do give us any money from this. So we've had a transfer offer accepted finally. And it's for Dele Ali. 
So it looks like we're going to be able to sign this guy. We've offered Danny Holland as part of the deal. This would be a great signing if we can pull this off. I would love to sign this guy and he looks like a really good future star. We will offer him the contract that he does want. I won't offer him a squad role because I'm just sick and tired of players complaining on career mode saying I want to play more in games. It's just really pathetic. So I won't offer him a squad role. If he does want a squad role then I will of course offer him it. But Luke James because we are most likely going to be selling um, Ryan Taylor to Kievo Verona. I can afford to get this guy now. And I can afford to offer a full 800000 for this guy. I think they'd accept that. But uh, we'll have to wait and see if we do actually uh, sell Ryan Taylor to Kievo Verona. So there we go. Ryan Taylor has gone to Kievo Verona. I thought that usually... When you sell English players, because for me, usually when I sell English players to clubs abroad, they just say, no, I want to stay at the club because I hate going abroad. But he's been ballsy here. Ryan Taylor's gone, and that has given us an extra $1 million to spend on replacing him. And we've had a transfer offer accepted, and it's for Ryan Ledson. That's exactly what I want to be seeing. That is fantastic news. This could be another great signing, another absolute bargain. Just like Big Romana, and it looks like I will actually end up rotating them. He is 66 overall, and he's only 17, which is ridiculous. I will offer him this contract, and we'll wait and see what he says about that. But some two big pieces of news there to start off this episode, which is ridiculous. And we've also got um, some news about the loan to buy offer that I put in for James Wilson. They are unsure if they want the player to be sold, so currently under the terms you've offered... We are going to decline. Mm. They look like they're not willing to sell their striker. Even though they've got Falcao. They've got Robin Van Persie. They've got Chicharito coming back from loan or, uh, from his um, loan from Real Madrid. I do believe they've got Angelo Henriquez. And they've also got another player as well. Of course, Rooney. How could I forget Rooney? But uh, we will go back in and we will offer a better future fee. One that looks a little bit more appetising for Manchester United to accept. And we'll wait and see if they do go ahead and accept this. So Dele Ali looks like he's going to be our first signing this season. And I will go ahead and bring him into the club. He is going to be pretty expensive. Yes, he is. And we've also got Ryan Ledson. So that's going to be a difficult one, isn't it? I will actually stall that for the, for the time being. See if I can actually sign them both. And then go ahead and sign a striker. Because that would just be amazing if we can. But so I will offer this guy a contract. We will give him sporadic first team play. Player, and uh, I'd rather sign Ryan Ledson than Dele Ali. put it that way. What I'm actually going to go ahead and do, guys, right now is sign Dele Ali because he's not going to cost us that much. And I've, I'm fearing that I'm stalling the contract too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign him and he will be our first signing of this season. So here's a little look for Dele Ali's stats. If any of you guys are interested, here's a little look at his stats. He's got some decent stamina there, which is very good for a midfielder. And in my opinion, is very, very important for a young player as well. Because it means that their stamina is going to develop even more. So it's good to have it high in the first place. Good dribbling and ball control. And very, very good short passing there at 75. His standout stat. He's good at stand tackling as well. And he's okay at marking. And he can also play at the centre attack and midfield position. And he has the flare trait and the long shot taker trait. So we've also had a contract offer accepted here finally for Ryan Ledson. I'm going to bring him into the club and now that gives us 1,100,000 basically to spend on bringing a striker into the club. So I know what you guys are thinking, why on earth did you sign another central midfielder in Ryan Ledson? And I can understand why you're thinking that because look at all the CMs I've got here. I've got about 5 CMs and then I've got 3 CDMs. So I've got a lot of central midfielders. I will be selling... Quite a few of the central midfielders and I'll probably end up selling, um, I think it's James Dunn. I'll put him on the transfer list. But here's a little look at Ryan Ledson's stats. He is worth 450000 We got him for 550000 and in my opinion, that is a complete bargain. He looks like a really, really good playmaker. Decent physical stats. Could be a little bit stronger, but that's absolutely fine. Good vision, good aggression, and his short passing and long passing is where it comes into play. He is going to be our playmaker in this team, and he has got 80 short passing. That is ridiculous. Also got some good stand tackling and slide tackling, and overall... A really, really good purchase and a complete bargain from Everton. Right, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. And if you have, 
please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already as it really does help out my channel and in the comments down below let me know what striker you think I should sign we'll have a little look at the team lineup here just to give you guys an idea of what we're working with so we're fine in the defense department maybe a new right back could be good but preferably I would like to get a striker because at the moment I'm playing a center forward Tata and I'm also playing Ward up there which is perfectly fine but I would like to get a little bit of a better striker. And if you guys have any suggestions, do let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.